Now that the calendar has turned to September, it could only mean one thing. School is back in session. Next week, thousands of children will start classes within the Diocese of Brooklyn's 57 academies, 29 elementary schools, and 18 high schools. On September 9th, 140 boys from the Dioceses of Brooklyn, Rockville Center, and the Archdiocese of New York will walk to the doors of Cathedral Preparatory School and Seminary in Elmhurst, the nation's only high school seminary. This year marks the 100th anniversary of Cathedral Prep's opening. Through the years, its mission has always remained the same. The seminary piece certainly makes us special, okay, and I'm proud of that. Um, we're all proud of that, which is why we don't whisper it. Okay? We don't want people to think um, cathedral used to be this and now it's that. It's consistently been a place to form Catholic leaders and specifically to encourage every single young man to explore a vocation to the priesthood. Like any school, there is a lot of preparation that goes into a new academic year. Well, Father Joseph Fonti, the school's rector president, spoke with me about how cathedral prep is getting ready. We prepare by getting uh, not only a building but a program in place. A lot of work is done to uh, ready the building for the academic year, uh, from beautifying it uh, to fixing things that might have needed attending, attending to. Um, and then just, you know, getting uh, all the resources that are necessary for a good academic year. So we're ready uh, from top to bottom to welcome uh, the young men who are, are part of our cathedral experience and uh, to give them a a uh, challenging and, and great growth filled year. On Wednesday, the faculty took time from organizing their classrooms and lesson plans for a luncheon before the students arrive. I spoke with a few of them to see how they personally have prepared for the upcoming school year. I don't start to prepare. It continues from June because it never leaves you. You're always thinking, uh, what did I do that was very good for the students, what could I do better? So in between your free time in the summer, you kind of have your subject material and you're thinking and you're planning and you're doing all these wonderful things. I really started by going through the material, trying to think of ways that I can make the, the material exciting for the, the students. Um, it ver as the material varies, there's all these different kinds of ideas that um, I could possibly incorporate, and maybe role play, maybe um, some sort of a uh, group activity. Uh, th that's really the main way I did, is that just by really thinking about ideas in that way. Cathedral Prep is also getting ready to implement a new program into its ninth and 10th grade curriculum. Erin McDonough, in her first year teaching at Cathedral Prep, will be the coordinator of the Vienni program. Um, basically what it is, is a program for students who might struggle in any academic area. Uh, maybe they don't have the foundational skills coming up from grammar school. Maybe they need extra help in science, in math, in English. So really it's a program for those students to have extra support. So with lesson plans completed and classrooms decorated, Cathedral Prep is ready for another year of shaping young minds. Reporting for Currents, I'm Tim Harfman.